What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 7, we'll be talking about Fear Street, we'll be talking about Final Destination, and we'll be talking about Chucky Season 3. So just to start off here with Fear Street, Bloody Disgusting put out this exclusive report yesterday. Variety started picking it up and other reputable outlets started picking it up afterwards, revealing some more plot details and a bit about the cast that we can expect for Fear Street. So this article from Bloody Disgusting says the new Fear Street movie will be based on the book Fear Street, the prom queen, which we already had reported by what's on Netflix. Shout out to you. Published in 1992 and Bloody Disgusting has been provided with more information this week. For starters, Fear Street Prom Queen will be directed by Matt Palmer and we can also exclusively let you know who's starring in the upcoming horror movie. I will also say that Matt Palmer also came from what's on Netflix. So shout out to you again for having another reliable and confirmed scoop by Bloody Disgusting. So they go on to say that the ensemble cast for Fear Street Prom Queen includes India Fowler, Susanna Sun. Fina Straza or Fina Straza, David Lacona or Lacono, Ella Rubin, Chris Klein, Lily Taylor, and I think there was one other person who was rumored to be starring in the film. This person was on Disney Channel. I'm drawing a blank on their name, Ariana something, but if you know, you know. So here are some plot details. It says, welcome back to Shadyside. In this next installment of the Blood Soap Fear Street franchise, prom season at Shadyside High is underway and the school's wolf pack of it girls is busy with its usual sweet and vicious, com vicious campaigns for the crown. But when a gutsy outsider is unexpectedly nominated to the court and the other girls start mysteriously disappearing, the class of 88 is suddenly in for one hell of a prom night. Now, without knowing anything about these cast members, because I don't know not a single one of them, I think one of them is actually from The Conjuring. That's the only person I recognize. I hope Fear Street 4 is a success. I'm intrigued by it. I am still planning to check out that book because I haven't actually read that Fear Street Prom Queen book, but I'm dying to check it out. I'm going to probably check it out sometime this year. Diving into Scream 7. Scream 7 is rumored to be looking for three new leads. I just wanted to really give some clarity on the video I put out yesterday. Two female leads and a male, according to Daniel RPK. One bit from the report I didn't mention was how these stars are likely to be around 20 years of age or slightly older, in, meaning still in their 20s. So with that in mind, that would rule out a story with Sydney's kids because I've seen some of you talk about how it could be sydney's kids i don't think that would be possible unless you're going to age both gail and sydney um i i really do think they'd have to severely age the two sydney and gail if we're going to be seeing 20 something year old girls who are supposed to be sydney's daughters like no i don't think we're going to get that that soon it just doesn't make sense but based off that rumor, I could see one of the many ideas you guys DM me about playing out, such as going back to college, but more like Scream 2 since Scream 6, while yes, they were in college, that mostly utilized the New York City setting. It didn't really rely on Blackmore campus as a whole. Maybe Kevin Williamson will use bits of his plans for Scream 5, placing Sydney as a college professor, and she has several students who are out to get her. The two 20-somethings could be students of hers who she's really close with for whatever reason because they find themselves at the center of this latest ghost face spree or there's some other personal connections that Sydney and these students are relating to each other about. So just spitballing ideas and wanted to mainly address the fact that Scream 7 is rumored to be looking for leads in their 20s according to Daniel RPK. So to me that reduces the chances of Sydney's kids being in it as teens or even as early adults unless again you're going to severely age the characters of Sydney and Gail. Because the characters we see in Scream 5 or at least from what we're led to believe are young girls that Sydney has. So I don't think it's going to be set too much later after the events of 5 and 6. But jumping into the next topic here, Final Destination 6. Tony Todd is on his way to Vancouver. No doubt this is obviously going to be for Final Destination Bloodlines since he is supposed to reportedly reprise his role as William Bloodworth and the film is expected to dig into the character like never before. I've already shared my thoughts on William Bloodworth's background based on what we've known about this premonition, just made a guess. We know a woman named Esther is involved and there's a little boy that were the last to die in this premonition in the tower collapse my bet is that bloodworth is that little boy tony todd tweeted this out talking about the uh project he's on the way to go shoot 
He said, so excited to fly back to city of Vancouver once again to begin filming major blockbuster. Give God the glory. I will say safe travels to you, Mr. Todd, and hopefully they don't absolutely butcher this character with how his backstory is executed. Granted, Bloodworth going through a near-death experience is reasonable and makes the most sense. I just know some fans couldn't live without knowing this to preserve the mystery surrounding that character. And also, Tony Todd, if you listen to my videos, please let me know because we follow each other on Twitter. It would be nice to know you watch my videos. But safe travels. The last thing we're going to talk about here is Chucky Season 3. So Chucky Season 3 is coming back on April 10th. And we know what we can expect based off of what's been coming out. And I'm going to tease something else you guys can expect. So we can expect to meet the good guy creator Wendell Wilkins, played by John Waters, who's returning to the franchise for the first time since Seed of Chucky. And then based on safe, safe assumptions from all the footage that's out there, we can expect Tiffany to likely escape, although her lethal injection scene that I've talked about in the past, that 100% is going to happen. She's just likely to escape during this moment. How she does that, I do not know. Well, I do know. I'm just not going to tell you. Based on the trailer that just dropped, Chucky is blowing up a place that is surrounded by ice or snow. So make of that what you will. I've seen people speculating that that was the White House. But if you zoom in on the shot, some of you have sent this to me and zoomed in on the shot. You'll notice that it's actually surrounded by ice and snow. And that's very purposeful for the specific place that he's blowing up. We will have our seance episode coming up during the second half of season three. Looks like based on the trailer, we're going to be going through the life of Charles Lee Ray with all these different versions of him shown during the footage. But what else can you expect during Chucky season three? Part two. Well, I'll just say that three is the magic number. That is all I will say for my Chucky fans out there. That is all I will leave you with. You can expect to see three. Three of what? You'll just have to wait and see. Once the season airs, it's going to become very clear what three I'm talking about because it's all going to be very similar but slightly different that's again me giving you a clue without saying it outright but you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to any of these projects what do you think about fear street what do you think about scream 7 what do you think about final destination what do you think about chucky season 3 part 2 which one are you most excited about let me know all of that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all of my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video